Hello and welcome to our new 2021 Rockwood Ultralight 2614 BS. We optioned in the freestanding dinette, the theater seating. This is the chocolate color with the uh, Newport Ash wood. One of the things we've noticed is that videos tend to not get very detailed. So we're gonna be detailed hopefully without being boring. This is our first YouTube video. So bear with me as I go through a few things, but they always seem to maybe not show us everything in the video. Like here's the fireplace that's running. Uh, there are controls down there. There is also a remote available for it. We have an AM FM DVD radio that also has Bluetooth. It's piped through these uh, two speakers. There are also two speakers in the bedroom, and there are two speakers outside. And there are zones for those speakers right there. One, two, three. You can have all three on at the same time or not. This, um, I believe, is a 40-inch TV. Don't... But inside here, pardon the blankets, <laughs> Those are ours, but this is a fairly new ad. Some people have modded this in, but you have a nice shelf here with a with a lip on the back. And that shelf is about half the depth of the cabinet, uh, which is really nice. But there's just a lot of storage back here behind this TV. <clears throat> the uh, front door has a shade in it that you can see. Uh, the one drawback is that in order to lower that shade, you have to separate the screen from the door. But it does have a shade, makes it uh, nice and dark in here. Comes equipped with a fireplace. Your fuse and circuit breaker panel is right down there below the refrigerator. Next to it is a ducted uh, heater vent, uh, somewhat rare for Rockwood but there's actually one there and one there. Normally what you will see in a Rockwood is the floor vents, which this has one here and one in the, in the bedroom, which we'll get to in a little bit. Now we opted in the 12 volt refrigerator. It's almost 11 cubic feet. It is made by Magic Chef. And when you option in this refrigerator freezer combo. There's the top freezer. Very nice. Uh, controlled like a, like a residential one would be. Has a cold colder temp control in there in the freezer. And it's frost free. Also very nice. Uh, very nice setup here in the refrigerator. What we've got up here in the top of the door is the filter for our outside water filter. And then these controls here which if you hold that set button, it actually turns it off. That's why it's flashing. It's letting us know that it is off. And in case anyone is interested, there's the model number, I suppose, and the specs for it and so forth. Just a really, really nice, almost residential style refrigerator that runs off uh, the inverter uh, and 12 volts. Magic Chef Oven. That is a fairly recent change for Rockwood. Uh, we currently have the lights on, on the knobs. It is a three burner stove. A little nice little feature back here is a knife holder. You have a, a vent with a light in it. And what I'm gonna do is flip off these lights and turn on the oven light. And then show you the oven, nice size oven. We, what you have right down there is the inlet for your heater and you have some have a space here underneath the kitchen sink could probably fit a trash can in there you've got your plumbing there's some of your ducting back there for that for that heater vent and nice little space there a nice uh, double stainless steel sink with a cutting board half of its cutting board half of it is for you can put dishes and so forth in there. This little guy right back here, Push Me, those of you familiar with Rockwoods have, have undoubtedly seen this. 
a couple outlets there and a couple USB ports. Pulls up really easy. That's your outlet for your kitchen. Push that little guy right there and pops right back down again. Rockwood uses seamless windows, so they are crank style. Uh, we actually had this one open, so um, works really good. We opened that while we had the oven on using it for heat, just so that we brought pulled a little fresh air in. Again, there's an outlet. We um, with the solar package that you get with the refrigerator, you get an inverter that uh, will power several outlets off of your battery. And the ones that are inverter powered have a little sticker on them like that that say inverter circuit. Okay, moving over to the, to the theater seating that we opted in for. They are, they do recline. The, the uh, switch on the side there is for lumbar only. These are not heated, they don't vibrate, they, but they do have lumbar support. And then down inside, hopefully you can see that, are two USB ports and a 110 outlet right inside this little center console here. You've got a nice cabinet up here. Both of these lights have USB ports in them. They also uh, are blue. You can see that that's blue. Then hold the button and it will turn to white. Nice uh, extension on this table. I will open that up here in a little bit just to give you a quick look at what that is like. Every chair in the unit has storage in it. It flips up, open for storage. You have an outlet down there on the floor. There's a big outlet back here for the um, recliners. There's three things plugged in there already. And that's pretty much what that, what that outlet is for. The CO and propane monitor are an all-in-one now, mounted low to the floor as they should be. RV Comfort is the thermostat. We have one zone in this particular unit. Currently have the heater on. It's nice and toasty in here right now. And that will control your temperature for AC and for heat as well. Um, over here is our solar panel. I don't know a lot about this yet, just because I haven't had a chance to read the manual, but we are plugged into shore power and you can see that our battery is fully charged, 13.7 volts. And we did use our battery. We did use our battery to run the uh, heater while we were dry camping and it worked really well. The heater did, we didn't have any problems with that. And these lights here, you can see I have all of the lights on. But each individual light has, I just turned that one off. It has a push button that you can operate those independently. The vents will push closed. They push open. They rotate. Very nice. And that's for your air conditioner. The air conditioner is officially a Coleman Mac. I'm going to have to turn around. So that you can see that that says Coleman Mac. That's very nice. And then I'm going to back up here a little bit and show you the control panel. Most people do show this, but you've got your all your switches for lighting, slides, awning, tank levels, battery level, heated tanks, so on and so forth. Don't really need to show you much in here other than this is the pantry. We still have a few things in there. Three drawers down there, and what came in our three drawers is a little dish tray, a propane hose for your outside grill, and that wrench is for your water filter. And then down in this one, that's where we put all of our uh, manuals and stuff. That's where those manuals were at. Uh, I'll take out my little soft plug there for where we bought our trailer. And then down in this bottom drawer, coax cable for outside TV, I'm sure. A little, little for what it's worth, sewer hookup thing. And then the, the tire pressure monitoring system that Rockwood includes with all of their trailers. Very nice. Rockwood and Flagstaff both do that. You've got the 
the octopus hooks here on the side and that pretty much takes care of the living area i'm going to move into the bedroom and actually i've got one more thing to show you we opted in a max air fan in our living space we just like that we find that that helps with one uh, up here it just helps with air circulation so we went ahead and opted in a big fan for in here so on to the bedroom i didn't So I decided to show the bathroom first, a uh, pretty standard bathroom, one recent change, and this could just be because of parts supply issues. Um, Rockwood is now putting a Thetford ceramic toilet in. Many people ask if it's ceramic. The one thing that I like, Dometic over Thetford, and we're not going to complain or anything, uh, but Thetford has one sprayer in the back. They don't have any any spray around the bowl that we have experience with that sprayer and it it does go around the bowl a little bit uh, but the Dometic does a much better job with that than Thetford does we believe but it is ceramic you can hear that again you have an inverter powered outlet in the bathroom uh, many people don't know this but this flips down nice little storage space for toothbrush and then you have this uh really nice cabinet down here one thing that rockwood gives you is a toilet paper holder and a towel rack that you can they don't install those they let you decide where you want to put those but nice little space there to put a trash can or something and then you've got some space there next to the toilet for your laundry basket toothbrushes cup holder if you like a little just a nice another added shelf there uh, ba uh, uh, window in the bathroom which I really like I've always just liked that idea uh, this window does not open just so that you know also this is the max air fan that Rockwood includes standard and I'm going to come around to the medicine cabinet and show you that but it is a mirrored um, medicine cabinet pretty much standard sink Rockwood puts the shower miser in and you can look that up look up aqua view shower miser if you want more details on that really nice skylight tall this is a very tall uh, shower space here three three uh, section glass shower door uh, also nice I think it is for cleaning and here's your other ducted uh, heater vent but nice that there is a heater vent in the bathroom that's very good so hopefully I answered all your questions about the bathroom which by the way the bathroom they do install one towel ring uh, that comes it's already already in already hooked up and everything and there's your one aluminum blind type thing that Rockwood does. Okay, so here we are in the bedroom. We have already put our heated mattress pad on the mattress. So that's going to look a little different at the moment. But you've got the same pull-down shades on those windows. You've got the same USB blue and white kind of reading lamps over there. One thing uh, sometimes you don't see is this outlet that's right down here could be very handy for a CPAP machine now as you'll see we opted in for the full bedroom carpet we just like to have something on on our feet in the morning other than linoleum uh, we have the second set of Moride step above steps uh, inside we haven't put those out but you'll see here is the light switch and then if you had the second uh, bedroom air conditioner the sensor would go there you have a tv backer spot here with an outlet and coax spots this door i don't have the the shade down but it is shaded just like the front door is got a really nice uh, wardrobe really a couple deep drawers a cabinet over there nice area to hang up your clothing 
We're going to take a look inside at that. You can see there is a lot of space in here. We've got a couple pillows from the bed and the bedspread uh, that Rockwood gave us are in there. And look at that coat rack um, holder, hanger holder. Not just a rod. It's uh, I like that. I I very much appreciate them doing that. So things aren't going to be moving around or falling off, so on and so forth. The glass is smoked, as you saw probably when I opened it. It has just a textured coating here on the back. And then that's what gives that glass that smoked look. Nice, uh, unique. Well, it used to be unique to Rockwood. I guess it isn't anymore. But just this big picture window up front. Uh, we love it. This is the one window and probably thankfully so that it doesn't have a roller shade this window has the uh, uh, honeycomb style shade that you can pull down it's it's dark you know it it blocks out plenty of light the window itself is already uh, tinted so you're not getting a lot of light in from there anyways you have an outlet two usb ports there right here by this this utility shelf cabinet with a couple with a shelf in it some stuff in there that our that our dealer gave us uh, when we purchased it a little storage area here against the wall i'm going to say that that's about uh, four inches maybe five inches deep not quite you know a hand you can see i've got my fingertip there and it's hitting in the middle of my palm or so so probably four inches uh, that's an access panel of some type. What's behind there? I don't know. I'm guessing the inverter because the inverter switch is right up here. The inverter on off switch, if you have the solar package, will be there along with another outlet with two USB ports next to it. And then again, another outlet on this side of the bed. Now what I've done is gone ahead and opened up this, uh, opened up the bed area. Which, by the way, the new mattress that Rockwood is using, thumbs up. Uh, we actually have a, a mattress ready to go in this trailer that we were going to use. And we're probably not going to put it in here now because this one is lighter. But, man, did it sleep good. We, uh, we were very impressed with it. No, no problems at all. You'll see here the two drawers that are underneath the bed. Uh, everyone makes note of the all aluminum framing and I'm going to make note of it as well. Something that I will be doing probably is putting uh, rigid foam in between all of these uh, areas, particularly down in, in there. This is a slide, so it is out, kind of exposed to the elements, so forth. So I'm going to be putting uh, rigid foam just to add a little bit of of insulation for us. But I want to make note of these drawers. They're, they are so deep. Uh, not only deep top to bottom, but deep front to back. And what Rockwood did is from about here over to here underneath is a whole nother, uh, another board probably just like this here that's supporting the bottom of that drawer. It's as a... Uh, some of you might know him. There's a there's a guy out there calls himself the ner Josh the RV nerd. He uh, says that's just Rockwood doing Rockwood things, and I would agree with that. Even even something as as we might say insignificant as a handle here to pull on that. Our old trailer. This this piece here was a was a piece of plywood, and it was just kind of annoying to lift up the actuators didn't work very well so not only does rockwood put a handle on it but they put something that's not plywood and uh, not osb plywood anyways to where it's going to be you're going to get splinters on your hands and so forth but you can see uh, same thing with the lights in here they're all individually controlled you can push one off put one on you can turn them all off with the switch same ac vents this uh, vent here in the bedroom if you have not opted in the second uh, air conditioner or another max air vent fan 
This will be a non-powered vent. See that? In the in the bedroom is a pocket door. I just slid that shut so they can. It's probably going to slide its way open because I'm not level. But there's the pocket door. Very nice. And I just have one more thing to show you, and then we'll be done. I mentioned earlier I wanted to show you the table with that piece out uh, so that you could see it. So there it is. Now our plan for this trailer, in case you're curious, is we're actually going to take this table and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees and tuck it almost right in to that corner. We'll have it, you know, maybe a half an inch or so away from the wall. But we're going to just turn it, put it right in there. There's just the two of us. We'll be able to put one one chair here, one chair here, you know, after the table's rotated. And two of these chairs we're going to take out. And the main reason why we're going to do that is because when this slide is closed, okay, this bathroom door opens to about there. And maybe not even that much. And what we're going to do is we're going to be able to get the bathroom door to open to about there. And my wife and I both then can fit through that door and use the bathroom if we need to while we're traveling without moving the slide out. Not that you can't, but we just find it more convenient to, to do that. So that's our plan. This is our trailer. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. It's going to be uh, maybe a couple months. Just not sure yet, uh, but I will do an exterior and point out some little nuances to the exterior. And one more thing that I forgot to show you, I'm sorry, and maybe some of you know it's there already, but this flips over for travel for the refrigerator. And so that's it. This is our Rockwood. If you got any questions, just post them below and I'll try to answer them. I'm not, I'm not linked to anything. There's not going to be any links. I'm just a guy with his wife. We love to go camping and we love our Rockwood. And we hope that you love this model too. Again, it's a 2021 Rockwood Ultralight 2614 BS.